What's going on, YouTube? So I get this question. How, hey, brother man, how long should I be an, a company driver before I become an owner-operator? I don't know. That's up to you, dog. Um, there are so many variables to that question that a one-size answer does not fit all. Because, you know, financially, you know, you may be in a different situation than somebody else and, or, you know, you may not be, uh, 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 you may need to raise your financial IQ. Um, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting anybody down. I'm just, you know, just keeping it real. Um. Uh, So, I mean, there, there's just so many, so many variables to that question. Like, for instance, um, am I, just to reiterate what I was saying from one of my last videos, uh, if you're a company driver, are you driving the truck as if, it's, if, if, if as if it was your own? Because that's going to be a big part of it. Um. You know, how are you fueling? Are you, uh, I didn't talk about this, but you know, I'll, I'll touch on it. Are you calculating your miles and then putting on, putting in enough fuel just to get you to where you're going or a little bit more, you know, okay, just, you basically just calculating your fuel and, 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 uh, calculating your miles, you know, like, let's say you got to run 500 miles and you know, you, you calculate five miles a gallon, six miles a gallon. So you're about a hundred gallons. <coughs> you put 100 gallons of fuel in plus you know, another 10 or 20, something like that. So that once you get empty, uh, you uh, you got enough fuel to, fuel to move on to the, the next stop, whatever, you know. And that's just, you don't have to do that. But, you know, if you're going to create cash flow, uh, that's a wise move right there. Now, there's different variables but with that, you know. How many mountains are there? How many mountains are you pulling? Are you pulling just on flat ground? Is it winter time? If it's winter time, then you're gonna to want to use more fuel than you would in the summertime. And you know, uh, you're gonna idle the truck, you know, overnight or whatever. It's, it's, I mean, there's a lot of various variables with that too. So I mean, that's just uh, you got to get into that mindset now before you uh, make your venture into being an owner operator because all this stuff is, I mean, you're gonna have a whole lot of stuff to worry about uh, being an owner operator compared to being, you know, just a company driver, driving somebody else's truck. But it's good to learn these traits now and start implementing these traits now before you go out and venture on your own. Another one is how much money do you save up a week or every two weeks, you know, once you get paid? Five bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks. I mean, it, the, the the number's not important. It's just the fact that you're in your mindset of you save money every time you you get a paycheck. Uh, because if you spend, if you get a paycheck now, and you spend all your money, and you are living from paycheck to paycheck, you're going to carry that that trade over to. I, I said trade, not trade. You're gonna carry that trait over into uh, when you're making uh, uh, a lot more money than on paper than a company driver, and you're gonna spend it all there too. So you're gonna to want to start saving your money. Um, however much that is, that's up to you. I can't answer that either. But I mean, these are some things that you got to look at. And I don't know if people touch on this, you know, on these other uh, trucking YouTube channels. Um, and I'm not the YouTube police. I'm not the trucker police. But I mean, this is, this is, uh, this is, this is my advice. So how's your financial IQ?
So, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of different variables and things with this. Uh, and I don't, you know, I try to be very cautious when I advise things um, or give my opinion on certain things. Uh, sometimes it's a strong opinion. Sometimes it's just an opinion. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to make those decisions. Um, so to answer your question, I don't know. That is totally up to you.